Hello. Hello there. Hello. He says I'm live. Well, of course I'm live. I'm live because I'm talking to you. Hello. Hello. Why don't you answer? Oh. Oh. Oh, maybe it's not Clive. Maybe, maybe it's not live. Maybe it's Clive. Oh, Clive, that's it. Um, help, Clive, yes. Hello. Hello, I'm Clive. I live down the road for, from Mary in Steeple Bumstead. Um, I, I spend my days reorganising my sock collection and and fantasising about Mary. Maybe one day I might have the lustrous Mary all to myself on my mantelpiece in jars. Like a collection of jars. And I'll put Mary in each of them and or on my mantelpiece. Oh, Clive. Clive. You are one sick, sick individual. I don't like Clive. <sighs> anyway... So, <laughs> after that interlude, it's um, been non-stock activity here in Steeple Bumstead. We even had Donald Trump visiting in his whirlwind tour of the ladies' nether regions. Ne ladies' nether regions, it's, it's, an, it's a new region. <laughs> He's such a powerful, godlike man, with hair just like my favourite troll dolly. We went on a pub crawl of all Steeple Bumstead's most salubrious haunts. When it was time for him to go, I flung myself at his feet, imploring him to take me back to the US of A with him. Oh, surely there's a, there's a little corner in the White House for me. Merry Christmas. He said, I'll tell you what he said. Mary, I wish I could. You are one fond lady, but malaria keeps me on a very tight rein. But when I finish building my wall, I'll be back for you. <sighs> Can you imagine the romance? But now, it's amazing because you would think, seeing as he's the most powerful man, in all the known universe and even the galaxies beyond, that he could get someone else to build his wall for him. I could always get Dave from down the road to build him a wall. He'll do anything for a six pack of Strongbow, as all of Steeple Bumstead will tell you. <sighs> he might fall over again, mind the wall, but he, he thought would have been there. Anyway, Donald left me with a little memento. I'm going to preserve it in aspect. See, it looks just, just like his face. So, I'm still running steep, I get laid here in Steeple Bumstead. I've been doing that for some time now. Now, can you remember our mantra? Can you? I'll remind you. A stranger is just a husband in disguise. That's right. A stranger is just a husband in disguise. Now, people say to me, Mary, 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 how can you keep going in, in these days of Tinder and, and Grinder and Insta and all like that? Surely people will just go online if they want to find a mate. Well, what I say to you is that nothing beats getting up close in the alleyway behind Lidl. Here at Get Laid, that's exactly the service we provide. Now, I used to think that being sexy was about more than just pulling your tights down. But in these times of recession, we've all got to just put out. Oh, my new clients are arriving, actually. I have to go now, but Donald's going to give you a motivational speech. Here he is. Come on, Donald, there you are. Don oh, no, you're upside down. There we are, Donald. Come on, Donald. Donald. Come on. It's not appealing enough to you. Appealing? This is the hard times, Donald. You're moaning on about your bloody wall and everything. What? Not a peep. Well, I'll give you appealing. Bloody can't get a bloody staff these days. Oh. Right. 
I'm just going to go and have this as a snack. Bye-bye.